behind the scenes, Google Pay is going to be powered by Stripe. So to get all of this going, we need to install a Stripe plugin for WooCommerce and then through that plugin, enable Google Pay. So to activate Stripe for WooCommerce, let's go to plugins and then add new plugin. And then over on the right hand side in the search bar, search for Funnel Kit Stripe and install and activate this plugin here, Stripe Payment Gateway for WooCommerce by Funnel Kit. I already have this installed, but I'll go ahead and click to activate this. And now if we go back to our dashboard, we can click to start the onboarding wizard. As you can see, to enable Google Pay on your website, we're gonna be using Stripe behind the scenes. So let's click connect with Stripe. I'll enter my email address and click continue. And because my email address already has a Stripe account associated to it, it's asking for my password. If the email address that you enter is not registered with Stripe, you will be asked to create your account in Stripe from this screen here. So I'll enter the password for my Stripe account and then I'll continue to log in. With my Stripe account selected, I'll click connect. I'll enable credit card processing as well as some buy now pay later options. And with Google Pay enabled, I'll click save and continue. Then we'll set up webhooks, which are different events sent between your website and Stripe when things related to payments occur within your website. I'll click set up webhook now. Make sure for the express checkout options here, you enable and then click confirm. And now Stripe is successfully set up. Let's put Stripe into test mode so that we can do some test transactions and make sure everything's working. From the onboarding wizard, we're returned to this page here, which is found under WooCommerce settings and payments. We can see that Stripe is connected to our store and it's currently in test mode. We can click here to test our connection to Stripe and confirm that both live and test mode are currently working in our website. Click on Google Pay up the top and make sure you check this box to enable it. We'll go through these settings in just a second, but for now, let's go ahead and save these changes. And now Google Pay is showing on our website. And if I add this product into the cart, the cart slides out and we see it shown in the cart as well. By the way, if you like this slide out cart, you can activate that in your website by going to plugins and searching for Funnel Kit Cart and activating this plugin here, sliding WooCommerce cart by Funnel Kit. If I now proceed to the checkout page, Google Pay shows up the top here as our express payment buttons. And if I go through the checkout process and arrive at the final step, Google Pay is its own separate payment gateway, where if I click that, I can then click here to pay. And having Google Pay show here as a payment method has a big benefit to you as a store owner that I'm going to explain towards the end of today's video. By enabling Google Pay through Stripe, like I've just shown you, all of these options across your website that let your customers pay using Google Pay only show to some users that visit your website. This depends on the web browser they're using as well as the device that they're accessing your website from. That's a limitation by the API that's going on behind the scenes here that Stripe's using to enable Google Pay. However, using the Stripe Funnel Kit plugin, we can improve this. By going to Google and getting a merchant ID and a merchant name and adding those details here, instead of using Stripe's API behind the scenes, we can use Google's API directly and putting those details into here will ensure that everyone that goes to your website sees your Google Pay buttons. Let me show you how to set these up now. Go to the URL shown on the screen, then create an account, or if you already have an existing Google account for your business, sign in by entering your email and clicking next, enter in your password and click next, enter your business name and location, accept the terms and conditions and click continue. In the left-hand menu, click on business profile and the first thing you need to do is set up a payment profile. Let's click to do that and then enter your details into the form and once done, click save. Scrolling down, click here to edit your business information and proceed to enter your information into these fields and don't forget to upload your logo as well. Once done, click save. The next step is to submit your website for approval. To do so, over here on the left-hand side, click on Google Pay API, scroll down to the bottom, and under Set Up Google Pay API, click on Get Started. Accept the terms and click Continue. Scroll down the page, and then here, click Add Website. Enter your website URL, and down here for integration type, select Gateway. Scroll down, you then need to upload screenshots of your website's checkout process to show Google how it works. Let's do this together now. 
Item selection is going to be your product page. There's a lot of extensions that you can install into your web browser that allow you to take a screenshot of a web page. The one that I'm using, I just click on the icon and then I can choose capture and then do full page. Then I'll click download and save. Back in Google, I'll click upload. I'll select that image and click open. The pre-purchase screen is going to be your cart. Take a screenshot of your cart page or if you're using Funnel Kit Cart, take a screenshot with the cart open. In my case, I'll screenshot this. Then I'll click upload, select that image and open. Payment method screen is your checkout page. Just ensure that in your screenshots, the Google Pay button is visible. So we could take a screenshot of the page like this, or we could go through to the final payment step and then have Google Pay selected here and screenshot this with the button at the bottom. I will screenshot this and then upload that here. For the Google API payment screen, choose one of your Google Pay buttons and then click on it. And with the Google Pay modal open, take a screenshot of this entire page and then upload that here. And lastly, your post-purchase screen is your thank you page. So I'll screenshot this thank you page and upload it here. And then click save. Scrolling up, we're now ready to submit for approval. Once you've read through this, check these boxes on the left hand side and then over here, click submit for approval. Now your integration is being reviewed and Google will email you in two to three days to let you know that you've been approved. Once approved, log back into your Google account and then click up here and you should see your merchant ID. Copy it from here and paste it into this field here. Your merchant name is whatever you entered when you created your business profile down here under public business name. I'll copy this and then paste that into here. Scroll down and click save changes. Back here under Stripe settings, make sure Stripe is in live mode. Scroll down, click save changes. And just like that, Google Pay is now completely set up in your website, taking payments, and every person that accesses your website has the ability to pay using Google Pay. Here are some additional things to know about Google Pay when you add it into your website. When a user chooses to pay using Google Pay from a product page, they can only buy this one product in their order. If you want to allow customers to buy more than one product in their order, you want to enable it inside of your cart or also on your checkout page as express payment options or alternatively on the last step here as a payment method in the payment section. If you have custom form fields added to your checkout form, they will not be captured if a customer purchases from your store using Google Pay under Express Checkout. However, if we go to the payment methods section, customers that choose to pay using Google Pay via here and clicking here will have those custom form fields captured during checkout. If you have Stripe set to live mode, but under Google Pay, your merchant details aren't added because you're still waiting to be approved. Your Google Pay buttons will still be output in all the different areas in your website, as well as shown here as a payment method, but they will only show if the browser or device that the user is accessing your website from is supported by Stripe. But once you add your merchant details in here, then those buttons will show for everyone that accesses your website, irrespective of the device or browser they're using. Let's round off the video by having a look at some of the ways that you can customize the Google Pay integration. The first option here allows you to customize the title of the Google Pay payment method. The description allows you to customize this text here. For the icon, you have three versions, standard with border, which looks like this, with rounded border, which looks like this, and you can change it from black to white, which looks like this, and lastly, you can change the theme. So currently it says pay with GPay. We could change it to say order with GPay and then subscribe, donate, check out. Now that you have Google Pay set up in your website, I would definitely recommend watching this video next where I show you how to set up express payment options, including Apple Pay in your website so that your customers can buy from your store by typing less, checking out faster, and overall increase your conversion rates. So here's that video. I can't wait to show you how to set that up.